Hello everyone, welcome to Cockney Curves Coding Class. So recently I was working on a project and I wanted to make it so that the user could select whatever color scheme they wanted. And I know that you could modify CSS variables using JavaScript on page load based on the user's settings. However, then if you did that, the theme would flash the wrong color when the page is loading. On top of this, obviously I don't want to run my own web server just to host this front-end site. However, Netlify came to the rescue. They actually allow you to redirect any file to a Netlify function which has the ability to read your cookies, which means that you could set the theme in the cookie string and then the Netlify function can grab that theme out of the cookie string and then redirect you to it from a given file name such as, I don't know, theme.css. So, if we go over here, you'll see that I have a basic project set up. It's just a link to a non-existent CSS file, so theme.css does not exist, and then a body that just says hello world. That's all that's here. So if we open this up here and we run Netlify dev, which is the Netlify dev server, you can install it through NPM, it's called Netlify-CLI, and we wait a second, it will open, and then we can go to Firefox, and we can load this up. And as you can see, it just says hello world. And if we go into the network tab and reload, actually, I think it's all, we can see that theme.css returns a 404 error because, of course, it doesn't exist. So we need to do two things to set up our automatic cookie based theme system. And that is one, create a Netlify function that redirects you to one of the three themes red.css, default.css, or blue.css based on your cookie. And you can, of course, set up as many of these as you want. These are just a couple themes that I made really quick. All they do is change the color of the text in the background. And you need to set up a Netlify redirect to redirect theme.css to the Netlify function. So first, let's make the function. And we need to make a new folder, of course. Create directory, and we'll name it Netlify. And then we will make a new directory. and name it netlify slash functions. And that is the default path where netlify functions are stored. Of course, you can configure this if you want, but by default, that's where it is. So that's what I'm going to be using. If you want to set this up on your own way, you can do that. I'm not going to. So let's make a new JavaScript file and save it inside of netlify slash functions and call it theme.js. You can call it whatever you want, of course, but I'm going to call it theme.js. And the first thing we need to do is exports dot handler equals async event context. Those are the two. And then we create a new function, little little arrow function. That's how you do Netlify functions, and then whatever this function returns is what the server is going to return when this page loads. So next, let's do let default theme equals default.css because that is the name of the default theme that we want, this one right here. And now, here's where the magic happens let theme name equals event.headers.cookie dot match and then we'll do another a new regex here with it being question mark less than or equal to that means look behind theme equals and then close the parentheses and then we'll do in square brackets this symbol here I don't know what it's called but it means not in a regular expression so you're probably familiar with it semicolon close square brackets and then plus which means one or more of these characters. And we'll do G for global, although I think that's not technically necessary. And then we'll do or default theme. So now, if there's no match, it'll just do the default theme. And if there is a match, it'll do whatever is in the cookie. However, this is assuming that event.headers.cookie is always a string. And if the cookie is blank, event.headers.cookie will not be a blank string. Rather, it'll be null. So we need to set up an extra little fallback for that because if you try to call match on a null instance, 
things don't happen. It's not just going to return null, it'll return an error. So we have to set up a ternary operator event dot headers dot cookie question mark at the beginning there. And this means that if this is a truthy value, then we'll use whatever's in here. And otherwise, we'll do a colon after that. Default theme. It'll do whatever is at the end after the colon. Cool little JavaScript trick there. Next, all we have to do is return status code 301. You could do like 302 or something, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's a redirect. And then we do headers. And we only need to return one header, that header being location. And that will be event.path. That is the file path that was requested. So when we redirect it, that will say theme.css or whatever we send to here. Dot replace theme.css. So again, we are redirecting the file theme.css to here. So if you're going to be redirecting a different file to here, you would name this to something else. And of course, I forgot to mention, you don't need to use this to change themes. You can use this for anything. And here then you do themes slash plus theme name. So it will redirect you to whatever is in this folder here. And that is all. Now let's set up the redirect. So there's two ways to do redirects in a Netlify environment. One of them is the netlify.toml file, and the other is through the underscore redirects file. Now, in my opinion, the netlify.toml file is the preferable way to do this because it allows you to do more configuration, such as specific status codes, etc. So let's save this file here as netlify.toml, and then we'll do two square brackets, redirects, and then we'll do two equals slash dot netlify slash functions slash theme because that is of course where this file is going to be and we'll do I should have done this first from equals slash theme.css and finally status equals 200 of course you could change this to 301 or something but Ideally, it's 200, just the, it'll send you straight there. Now, we have to stop and restart the server because we have just changed a bunch of configurations and they're not automatically reloaded when the files for them do not exist. So just restart the server real quick, switch back to Firefox, and if I reload here, we have been changed to blue.css. And the reason for that is I have left the theme as blue.css, but if we delete this cookie for testing purposes and reload, default, default theme. Now, if we create a new cookie, got a theme, and let's do red.css since I accidentally left my cookie as blue from a previous take of this video, we can reload and the text is now red. So. As you can see, it works. Hopefully this is useful. You could use this for a whole bunch of other things other than themes. I just think that the theme thing, it works pretty well, you know? So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember to wear your programming socks.